When it's time to add a new ball of Hue and Me yarn, let me show you a neat technique. We are actually going to felt the two yarn ends together. You'll need a felting mat or high density foam like I have here, and a felting needle with these special barbs or notches. For thicker yarns, I carefully untwist the yarn and cut it to half thickness. Then I do the same thing with the new skein of yarn. Untwist and cut to half thickness. Next, I take the two yarn ends and place them on top of each other, carefully twisting them together. Then I take my felting tool and begin repeatedly jabbing at the yarn. This agitation causes the scales of the animal fibers to interlock together. I then lift up the yarn and roll it between the palms of my hands to help smooth the fibers. I continue to repeat this process of jabbing, lifting, and rolling. You need to be thorough to ensure that the fibers are getting agitated from all different angles. Note that you can only use this felting technique with yarns that have some animal fiber component to it, such as wool or alpaca. Continue this process until the yarn is smooth and there are no more strands sticking out. Now you can see how our two yarn ends have been fused together into one cohesive piece that is seamless. You can now continue crocheting your project with the new skein of yarn you just added. There are no extra knots or extra yarn ends to weave in. Here you can see how Hue and Me yarn is 20% wool. You can use this same felting technique when it's time to weave in the yarn ends. First, weave the yarn end through some stitches. Cut the yarn and remember where that yarn tail ended. Take your felting tool and give it some jabs to help keep that yarn end in place so that it gets felted in that spot. Since the yarn end is being felted in place, it should not be able to pop out later on. This is what it looks like on the right side of the granny square. I hope you found these felting tips helpful when working with Hue and Me yarn.